That was a crazy game. Did it feel like it out there? Uh, yeah, it definitely did. First game back, just excited to get through that game with a W. Uh, it was moving fast out there, all about just getting the rhythm. But like I said, just was happy to come out that game with a W. Um, how, just how nice is it to come through it physically in one piece? Forget the stat line, just mm -hmm. knocking off any rust, but to have that behind you now so you can just go forward. To me, it's good. I look at it as a positive sign. You know, I've played, I say, the best defense I've played in a long time. So just looking at that as a positive, as a stepping stone, uh, and knowing that I'm, that's, what I do, that's what I do. I'm going to make shots. Uh, it was a bad game, knock the rust off, like you said, just get find the rhythm, and things will get going. But like I said, like, I'm happy I was just able to do other things and contribute to a win, and happy we came out of this one with a W. You mentioned the defense, obviously, but when the shot's not falling, is it just an instinct as a player to say, hey, I'm going to do whatever it takes? So was that something you were pleased with, just being active defensively? you got to affect the game in multiple ways. And like I said, today wasn't my day. Everybody know that. The stat says it. And like I said, that's not the only thing I pride myself on is making shots. So I just want to make sure, like you said, I just want to contribute in any way possible. If that was rebounding, you know, if that was coming in, helping, you know, my fellow teammates. And that's what I had to do at the end of the game and guard one of the best players who had a great game, uh, Jairus Walker. And that's what I did. So at the, like I said, at the end of the day, I just say it's a great game. And I take baby step by baby step. When you say you felt like you played the best defense you have in a while, is it literally just about being able to slide and like stay with guys? Just, is just that how it felt? Physically, like just being able to move laterally, just being able to beat someone to the spot. I feel like I haven't been able to do that in a long time. So, like I said, I'm just taking that as a stepping stone for me. Just being able to do that it feels so good. Just to be out there and just be able to move, moving my feet side to side and laterally again. So, like I said, just continue to take baby steps. Uh, I look forward to coming out here next game and, like you said, just having a better offensive uh, performance. But like I said, just take baby steps and knock the rust off and eventually get going. Did it feel like? the trust in your body was coming back or is the trust already there? Uh, the trust in my body is coming back still that, you know, like I said, obviously, I feel like I'm feeling very good. It's just more so now, and I just feel like it's going to take me that one time to just go up and catch someone. I feel like after I catch someone for that first time, then I feel like that's when I start to get out my mind that, you know, worrying about a land or anything. But like I said, when I, when I take that first, you know, step to just dunking somebody, I feel like everything could come back in one. You mentioned defensively, but just, I know, I think Jordy has said it, Coach Hetzel said it, is that something this team wants to identify as, as with this group as being more disruptive defensively? Like, is that something you take pride in, just with that, this identity? You got to, because you, like you said, you can't control making shots. You can't control what you do offensively. Uh, the ball going to go in some nights. It's not going to go in some nights. So that's one thing you can't control is defensive man, the defensive end and not letting your man, you know, beat you to the spot. We call it guard your yard. So I feel like uh, we struggled with that early in the game, and I feel like later in the game, I feel like we all did a big job at locking in and making sure we understood the assignment, which was to, you know, guard your yard and not let your man get to the rim. And I feel like we locked and did a great job of that overall. Speaking of which, Noah set the tone earlier with those blocks. Just mm -hmm. how much confidence you've seen in him just being more comfortable, being that rim protector, being aggressive, altering shots? Uh, you could tell the game slowed down for him. You know, compared to last year, to his first summer league, like I said, everybody want to speak the numbers and stuff. You can't look at the numbers all the time, especially with a guy like Noah. You know, you got to look at the way he alters shots, the way he defects the game in so many different ways. So, like I said, him just coming out here showing more confidence, that was huge for us, and I feel like he got us going early. And then with Jalen, obviously, just when he sets the tone in the second half, he's hitting shots and just his leadership. What does that do for you guys seeing him just kind of take a bigger role? Even though you guys are all second year guys, but being older, does it feel comfortable with him being a leader kind of in that way? Uh, for sure. That was huge for us. Uh, like I said, I don't feel like none of us was able to get going. And Jay Will getting going was actually the thing that got me to, you know, to turn it up in the second half and make sure I contributed in any way I can. And that's why I started to come out there. You know, Jay Will had it going on the offense end. I wanted to make sure I had it going on the defense end and make sure I come out here. And like I said, I feel like we all did a part and a huge role in just making sure we came out of here with a win. And I feel like we really fought back. And that's a reflection of the work we've been putting in the past 10, 12 weeks.